Yeah, I pressed it. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Okay, so I got my new friend here. What's your name? Kevin. Kevin. He decided to be my model today so that I can show you guys how to use some of our new stencils and show you how to get different textures using your airbrush and how to use this product, the metallic powder um, by Miron. Several companies make it. Uh, this is going to be your best product if you want to create that metallic statue effect. So I'll show you how I use it and how it works best for me. So what I do is I take a Tupperware, got that? Mm -hmm. And then I just pour a little bit in there. So this is just, I would say, maybe like a teaspoon, maybe even less. Then I take the mixing liquid. No laughing. What's your name? Kevin. I'm sorry. I forget quickly. So then I take the mixing liquid and I just pour a little bit in here. And you can see what happens is that it starts to turn metallic-y. So what I do is I just pour a little bit in there and move it around so that I can soap up all of the powder and then add a little bit more. And the reason I only do a little bit at a time is because once this starts sitting out in the air, it starts to oxidize, especially the gold, and it turns um, brown, like more of an antique gold than that bright, shiny, metallic gold. So once I have my Tupperware filled, then I'm going to take a high-density sponge, like this one, and it's dry. And what I'm going to do is just use it to mix the powder all around. That way I have pretty much a good amount of metallic liquid. Now if you mix it with the mixing liquid, then it's almost guaranteed to be waterproof, which is ideal if you're going to be acting as a statue or you need it uh, to last a little bit longer. So then once you have it applied on your sponge, I used enough to just kind of get it soaked up. Then I'm just going to use that edge and I'm just going to cover him in straight stroke. So what I'm doing is just adding a coat and you want to keep it in the same direction to prevent streakiness. downward. You'll want to let your first coat dry, but when you use this sponge effect, you can cover a large area rather quickly. Uh, when you're using this inside of your airbrush, you're going to get like a wider spray pattern. You're also going to be separating the pigment a little bit more, so you're going to want to go <laughs> over each area a couple times. No laughing. Once you let it dry, I still have quite a bit left of my metallic uh, mixture. So once you let it dry, then you'll be able to see where I'm going to need to touch up, uh, where there's extra spots. It's harder to see with the lighting in here, but when you want to go in to make it even, you're going to just want to blot it in once it dries. That way you'll get that nice, even effect. And this, like I said, is going to be your most metallic. Out of all the brands, I would say this is going to cover a lot better and last a lot longer than um, than the Air Metallic Cake Maker. To cover up turn, not this one. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is just bring down this gold a little bit more. And you can use the edge of your sponge to make that line. And I'm just fanning it down a little bit more. So this is one way to use the metallic powder. Um, you can also draw or use a paintbrush and paint it on for accents and details. And you want to move rather quick with it because like I said, once it starts oxidizing, then you're going to get a little bit of a darker effect uh, when it just sits out in the air. Now if you're actually going to be using this for a print or you're going to be using it for um, a photo shoot and you want to get almost that glossy effect with it, then instead of using the mixing liquid, you'll want to use some baby oil or cooking oil. Now obviously it's not going to dry the same way and you're not going to get the same type of finish, but for photo purposes it's actually, it works excellent. Okay, so that's just a little tutorial on how to use the metallic powders. Now what I'm going to do